All right, so we're going to be looking at how the average function works in Google Sheets. And the average function calculates the average of a set of numbers and it ignores text. And in this first example, we'll just do numbers. So we want the numbers that are in A1 through A4. And when I say A1 through A4, what I mean is the A is the column letter and the one is the row number. And you always do it in that order. So we have A1, which is the three, all the way down to A4. So we'll circle the four, and that'll be all the way down to the two. So we're saying grab these four numbers. And what it will do with those is it's going to take all of those values from those cells. So three plus two plus six plus two, and divide them by the number of cells, which is four in this case. So we'll complete the formula. It will do all of that for us. We'll hit enter and it tells you the average is three. Let's make sure there's no decimals there. So we will highlight that cell, go up to the formatting and increase decimal places. So there is, uh, looks like three and a quarter. All right, so that's a simple example. Let's change these numbers a little bit. We're going to make two columns. We're going to do, I'll, I'll grab the average function as well. And I'll paste the exact same thing here. But in column A2, let's say, first of all, that some of these are zeros instead of twos. We'll change two of them to zeros. These are calculating the exact same, right? Because each column is the same. But if I come in, let's say we have a list where zeros are represented by nothing. So they're just blank. The average function stops looking at those cells completely and it just averages the three and the two. So beware when you're using the average function, if you have a list that there's a difference between a blank cell with absolutely nothing in it and a cell with a zero. And we'll delete the items in B. I think we're done with that column now. And what I want to show you is, let's say we have uh, given out a survey and the options are none, one, or two. And the none just comes through that way. So we say none. Let's say we got a two and a one and another none. Well, you want to treat the none as a zero, right? And you want to pick up these. These will get picked up automatically by the average function. But if you look at this average function, it totally ignores text. So if I double click in here and we look at the definition of the average function, it returns a numerical average value, but it ignores text. So in this case, this data set calculates the exact same, I guess we will use column B again, as if those nuns weren't there at all. So way around this is to consider using the average A function. That does look at text, it looks at other things as well, but it counts the text as a zero. So that 0.75 may be the more accurate result. So see more about the average A function in this next video. Thanks for watching.